Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. You know, that channel you come to for anything but nail art. <laughs> well, joke's on you, because today, I'm gonna do nail art, bitch! <laughs> I saw Manny MUA make a video on recreating a fan's makeup look, and I thought, wow, that's perfect. <laughs> Let's just take ideas from our subscribers. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done a nail art video on this channel. Thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> and I need some nail spiration. So on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, I asked you guys if you were a holosexual that does nail art. So how about we check out Twitter first and see what we got? Simply recreate me. We've got a smart ass holosexual here. Always gotta love that. <laughs> God, that is beautiful. Look at it. It looks so similar to other things I've done because that's like the only thing I ever do is dark color and hollow talk. <laughs> I need a real challenge, people. Wow, that's so good. Okay, N not that challenging. Beauty and the stamping plates. Wow, that's so cool. I don't have that stamping plate though, so <laughs> I got over that one. <laughs> it's a Starbucks cup. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <gasps> this girl's nails are so long, I'm so jealous. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Black Hollow Tide Pod Nails! Why didn't I think of that like a month or two ago when it mattered? <laughs> oh, that's so pretty, the constellations. But again, I would need that particular stamping plate. I also don't know how to stamp very well, so. <laughs> I'm just full of excuses today. There is lots of talent on Twitter, but we gotta give a chance to Instagram because Instagram is the original place where I joined the nail art community that was once flourishing and full of creativity back in 2015 before there was ever an algorithm. Can I get a RIP to Instagram, please? <laughs> Now we can never see the posts of those we follow. You guys know I started on Instagram, right? Back in the day when I had no face and no voice and I was therefore much less annoying. <gasps> wow, well that's beautiful. Is that Rob's account? <laughs> oh shit, that, that's a water mumble. We're just gonna keep scrolling. Pretend you didn't see it and keep scrolling. <gasps> How did you do that? Are you French artist? Oh my God, look at all these amazing nail artists on Instagram, see? You don't need me. <laughs> uh, there's too many good ones. Now how am I supposed to pick? You know, I asked for nail inspiration and now I just have too much. So I'm obviously drawn to the ones that are hollow, like this one. That's beautiful. It's, it's not really nail art. Oh yeah, it is. It says 24 on it. <laughs> Happy birthday to napkin nails. But I want to pick something that I haven't done myself and that would be challenging for me. So basically we looking for an ugly creme manicure. How am I gonna choose, guys? Oh, oh my god, that is sexy. Dun, 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 Will we find the one? <gasps> oh my god, that is fucking beautiful. How did she do that? It's a pinky conspiracy. <laughs> She set that one up just for me. It's so good, it's even her profile pic. Okay, we're gonna follow her back. What has drawn me to this one is questioning how the f did she do that? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Ben, you shouldn't have. Happy fifth birthday to me. Did you ask for hollow on top? They had no edible hollow. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's blue, it's a boy. What? You don't have plates. I didn't get a plate. You don't have plates. <laughs> we just hit five million holosexuals. <laughs> Can you believe that there's five million people who actually hit that subscribe button? I thought they were just bots. Robots? <laughs> this is so amazing, it calls for a giveaway. Oh, we're yeah. gonna figure that out. <laughs> I should give away my channel to someone who does nail art. <laughs> Why don't you guys tell me what kind of giveaway you want? If you say MacBooks, I will unsubscribe you myself. <laughs> Comment down below where you think we should go on vacation and take a break from making videos and just relax for once because we've been We're working. Not going anyway. anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. He might be going somewhere. <laughs> Comment down below where I should go on vacation. Anyways, where were we? Oh shit, I'm out of tea already. <laughs> Bam!
What's up, party people? Hey, that's me. And now the question is, does this account do tutorials? <laughs> Damn it! All right, let's check out this account that inspired the Pinky Conspiracy. Cats, oh, they're so cute. Okay, we're getting distracted. <laughs> That's it. They're so beautiful. Oh my god. I made a gradient with these colors, then used liquid latex as a barrier instead of a nail vinyl. Interesting. Then I sponged the layers darker and darker, all the while using the latex to protect it farther and farther down to create the scaled gradient. You see? <gasps> scaled gradient! That's from the past. So for those of you who have been following me for a super long time, I was really big into what I called scaled gradients, which meant a gradient on top of a gradient on top of a gradient but not like layering this way but like this way all right then pinky conspiracy it's time for me to attempt to recreate your nails now first things first it's time for some peel porn <laughs> may not be nail art I'm peeling off, but it's still damn sexy nail polish. First things first, we're gonna need a base coat. But unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you that I will not be putting on a peel off base coat today. The truth is, while I would love to be able to peel off whatever I create here today, doing a gradient, never mind a scaled gradient, is incredibly difficult if you're working with a peel off base coat because you're just increasing your risk of peeling off the entire nail in the middle of your artwork. <laughs> so to reduce that risk pretty much completely, we're gonna use a regular base coat. All right, let's pick our colors. Wow, what a beautiful color story. So inspiring. Now I want to do my makeup these colors. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with this bright neon reddish orange as the base. Woo! Simply still got it. She can paint her nails with one color. <laughs> Before any gradient, one must protect themselves with liquid latex. I've definitely done nail art in the past using this color scheme because I love this color scheme. And I've done a few scale gradients, but I've never really done that mountain sunset look. And I've always wanted to do it, and I just never ended up doing it. And next, we need some makeup sponges. Oh god. This nail polish hasn't been opened in like four years. <laughs> now this gradient only needs to extend halfway down the nail, so we got a tight space to work with. The secret is doing very skinny stripes of each color of polish so that you can blend multiple colors without it all just turning into brown shit. <sighs> Ready? In honor of the pinky conspiracy, we're gonna start with my pinky. Nail one, and I already f***ed it up. <laughs> the purple is too dark. Shit. Shit, what do we do? All this nail polish and I can't find the right shade of purple. Didn't I once write an entire blog post dedicated to gradients and called it the gradient guide? <laughs> Maybe I should... Read my own advice. <laughs> but if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again, again, again. We're going to move on to the next nail. <gasps> There's a munchie hair. <laughs> All right, how does that look? Not terrible. Oh yes, my favorite part. It's what makes it all worth it. Oh yeah. All right, now I've cleaned up a little and it's time for the next step. We gotta do another gradient or seven. <laughs> but before we do that, because we gotta put liquid latex on the nail to create the next gradient on top of this gradient, we need a glassy taco, bitch. Just a nice thick coat, a glassy taco. Now we gotta let it dry because, hey cat clock, we're gonna add liquid latex in place of nail vinyls next. <laughs> How do we do this? Okay, we gotta think about this one mathematically. So we've got the darkest blue mountain layer on top of the medium blue mountain layer on top of an indigo mountain layer, which means you gotta work backwards and start with the indigo mountain layer. So that's about halfway up the nail. But where do you put the liquid latex? Because you're gonna sponge on the opposite of where the liquid latex is. Nail art is a science. <laughs> that's why I always love scale gradients, because they were such a mind f <laughs> So we cover up this and we make mountains going the other direction. The top of the mountain is the darkest blue, but we don't want to make the rest of the nail completely blue because you want to see some of the orange come out of the bottom of the mountain behind the other two mountains. Are you following me? 
It is inspiring seeing all the artists out there, seeing some of your ideas. They're so creative, they're so out of the box. Try something new, be a little crazy, be a little funky, be a little you. Yeah, I just made up a jingle. Okay, everybody, hold their breath. It kind of worked. Holy shit. I am shook like a bottle of nail polish. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's a fucking mountain range. You all know what's next? A nice thick coat of glassy taco. And I often see the question, doesn't this make your nails too thick when you add so many different coats of nail polish and top coat in between the nail polish? And the answer is yes, and that's how I like my nails. <laughs> I really don't find that it's a problem. It's not a problem anymore. <laughs> as long as you're using a good quick dry glossy taco and you're actually letting it fully dry and cure the nail polish underneath, then you can just keep adding layers, layers, and layers, girl. Go to Polish Mountain if you want. It's not that far. We already like eight coats in. And here's where it gets really tricky. You gotta make the mountain line enough down to distinguish between this mountain line and the previous mountain line, but you also need enough space for the third mountain line. <sighs> At this point, no one cares about the instructions because no one else is going to do this, are they? <laughs> Lots of YouTubers are turning into singers these days. I think I got a shot. <laughs> oh, I did it, I think. How does it compare? It looks pretty good. The colors are slightly off. Maybe the sunset behind isn't quite the same color of gradient. I blame my lack of nail polish selection here. <laughs> but wait, I'm missing one thing. When in doubt, add a hollow taco. I like how much I've infected my viewers' minds. <laughs> now, Pinky Conspiracy didn't just pick any hollow taco. She clearly picked a scattered hollow taco so that she didn't cover up the beautiful gradient design underneath. I just realized we haven't talked about what's on my other hand. It's actually a layer of a few different things. I started out with a black creme polish, then layered it with some hollow taco flakies, and then added an iridescent taco. Because bitch, I'm extra. And now we're adding a final last coat of glassy taco to seal in the hollow taco and all the other tacos we put on our nails today. I did it! I did one of your nail arts and I didn't fail. Well, you know, it's not perfect, but <laughs> I am proud of myself. I went outside of my comfort zone, which recently has, has been anything but nail art. <laughs> Pinky conspiracy. I hope I did you proud. I had fun doing this, you know. At first I was a little stressed thinking, oh my god, nail art. Who is she? <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to sit down and do your nails for six hours. And another big sock. Thank you for five million subscribers on this thing we call YouTube. I am not good at emotions, so I will excuse myself because I am a sock. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what kind of things you guys might want to see me give away. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.